Hello, my soccer universe. Let's do this now. I'm not gonna wear soccer shirt or not a Milan shirt. You see, I'm a fan. I just turned off the game because I'm absolutely pissed at the performance. I mean, the day to day you saw it in the title of this video. No one seemingly wants to get into the Champions League all over Europe. Um, and I've only seen the Milan game today. I saw the results and uh, I cannot believe them. Um, and yeah, we'll, I'll briefly talk about that, but I'm really, really angry about what Milan was showing at Torino today. Uh, absolute chaos at the beginning. I mean, Donnarumma with a pass to Paqueta, who finally came back, but, um, you know, he's out, out, out injured. It's probably even a risk of uh, playing him. Um, almost gifted Torino. A goal probably should have been a red card for Paqueta because the Torino player was straight on through goal. There were many, I mean, they had so many yellow cards with uh, mistimed challenges early on and you could clearly see that they don't have any way of that how the team is working. Kudrona was playing instead of Piontek on, in front. Yeah, two chances in the first half, half chances, I, w I would say. Uh, and I also got to say, I had the feeling the referee was not going to wait. But what I was missing is a clear, cohesive play. There was nothing like that. This was a team that was, I mean, I said it uh, ahead of the derby when they played at Kievo or so on, that they're not playing all the, all the grip, but they got the wins. And now they're shown how not good they are. I think they lost their way somewhere in mid-March. The derby completely derailed them, as did the international break. And since then, uh, they had one good game at Juve that they lost. Uh, the draw at home to Udine was uh, lucky as hell. They got the win against Lazio, but it doesn't matter anymore at the moment. You're sitting in seventh place with Atalanta playing tomorrow still. Uh, Lazio got a win again, so... Um, there's a high probability Milan is not going to play in Europe, and that's a shame. Because just over a month ago, we were talking Champions League. Very secure Champions League spot. I'm absolutely mad. I don't know whose fault it is. I mean, it will surely, surely be put on Cotrone. Uh, not on Cotrone, Catuso. Small stocky man, but absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace what they were playing. Uh, there needs to be a huge rebuild happening. Um, nothing else is gonna save the situation there. Uh, this hopeless Milan fan here, thoroughly disappointed. This is not the Milan that I'm used to. Absolutely not. And it has been a while since I saw the Milan that I'm used to. The last time, maybe in 2012. That seven long years of mismanagement and just utter mediocrity. The way they bowed out of, of the Europa League this year, uh, disgrace and the two seasons take kind of the two half seasons take kind of the same form kind of shaky start getting 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 and then a big drop just at the time when you are done I mean you're losing of course against the big big opponents but just when you're done with the big big opponents and really could cruise you're not making points you're actually dropping points like flies and yeah, you might tell me that yeah, Bakayoko was playing great this season and so on. I don't think we, there needs to be a real concept behind there. And with financial fair play, maybe you're not even going to make it to Europe anyway. So maybe well, why bother? Um, I don't know where it's going. I really don't, don't know at the moment. No, I do care. But you know, I'm wearing the black for a reason. And I'm not going to wear a soccer shirt tomorrow. It will be in an NHL jersey, partly because of the weather forecast, partly. What shall I wear? Seriously. What shall I wear? The only two teams that I'm kind of proud of that are hanging there. Yeah, maybe Lusk, they won today. Finally, again, they got their bad spell in April over. And, uh, seem like sure Champions League qual qual qualification. But that, honestly... This is what I expect from them, meanwhile. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it doesn't lift me. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really happy, but um, I am always admitting I have two hearts in here. One is black and white for Lask, and one is red and black for Milan. Those are my two teams that are almost an even footing. Yes, I've seen more Lask games uh, because they're the local team. But 
I would even say that I've been a fan of Milan slightly longer than I've been of Lask. Although I knew about Lask much longer, I have to say. It's just the way it goes. So to me, it hurts. This really hurts that you threw away, you were in third spot ahead of the derby. You were in third spot, Inter was a mess. You got out coached there. And since then, really bad string of results. It's simply frustrating. It's really frust fr fr frustrating. Honestly, this, this season, and I had a horrible month of April, but this season, the two teams that keep me somewhat afloat are Lusk, who are having an excellent season. And I always joked, because it's not necessarily true, but I'm a Milo fan because Lusk was always so bad and disappointing now it's the other, uh, other way around. And probably I should go more for the stadium. The, the girls enjoy it. Going to the one time we were in the stadium. And my wife actually was twi it was the second time in the album. We lost. She actually enjoyed that. Maybe we should go more often. And I uh, should go a little bit better. Get more into Lusk. It's just I'm watching every week Milan. I'm not going to watch next week. Who are they playing next week? <laughs> See, I'm hopeless. I'm a hopeless Milan fan. Who are, who are they playing next week? Bologna. On a Monday. There's a good chance I'm not watching that one. Because it's, it's pointless anyway. Well, I don't want to went more for, for, for frustration. Let's look at... Uh, that was the only game I saw today. We, we, we were out. We actually had a good time overall. Um, at uh, family... So yeah, I followed the last game just as a ticker a little bit. I, I know that when we were having dinner, I, I, check, I quickly checked. They were one nil ahead before we went to dinner. Then it was only 2-1 down. They turned it around 3-2. I just saw the goals. Fully deserved win. I mean, uh, Sturm Graz made out of two shots two goals. And um, this week, when they won at Lask, our goalie made a big mistake. Now it was the other way around. Uh, and so yeah. Lask is back to winning ways, and if they can win next week against Wolfsburg, um, which are in third place, they beat Salzburg today, which is kind of a surprise. If Salzburg would have won, they would have been champions. But this way, nope, they are not. I have to wait for at least a week more. But if Lask beats Wolfsburg, um, Champions League qualification is secured. The other team that actually kept me float is Ajax. They didn't play now, but they played during the week. God, they got a win, but that Ajax Champions League run, that's something to look forward to. Um, I really, and I give you my predictions, uh, probably, probably, probably Tuesday morning, I really would like Ajax to go to the final. Probably even win the thing. Uh, just for a simple reason. Salzburg is as good as champions of Austria. Um, and at the moment, Austria has a conditional spot in the Champions League. Salzburg has 10 times failed not to qualify for the Champions League in ridiculous fashions. They would become champions, and we get the fixed spot, they would actually be in the Champions League. But no, this is not how it works. Salzburg is not going to get in the Champions League. This is how everything is going. So how can I not make the Champions League? Ajax winning the Champions League. If Ajax wins the Champions League, Salzburg is not in there. Because... Ajax would not qualify automatically for the Grand Champions League group stage, even if they become Dutch champions, because the Dutch don't have a fixed spot, which in itself is ridiculous. But yeah, I know they had a bad spell, so I know the, how the UEFA ranking is working. So, I mean, Ajax winning the Champions League this year would make me the happiest. Milan is not going to make European soccer. I have the feeling at the moment. This, tra this is a train wreck at the moment that I don't know how it can be resolved. It won't be resolved by firing the coach. But Gattuso is a really... I don't think Gattuso will continue. Um, I think whoever the owners are at the moment, they really need to look deep into it and make a good plan. Don't look at financial fair play. Don't. You're not going to make Europe. The way you're playing, you're not going to make your last. is a point behind. Torino is now ahead of you. You hold may hold the tie because against Atalanta or um, uh, Roma, but that doesn't matter much because you're not get again going to get the points total. At least that's the way how it, how it looks at the, uh, at the moment. And what's even worse is, you know, the cup final is Atalanta against Lazio. 
Should Lazio win that, then seventh spot is not enough for Europe. And Lazio plays at home. I rest my case. But the big story today, other than that, and you know, if you look over, is that no one wants to get in the Champions League today. Uh, of all the teams that won a, a fighting for a Champions League spot in Germany, in England, in Spain, and in Italy, I think all those teams they made only three points. I have to check the Italy now, because, uh, and we will. I mean, Atalanta is playing tomorrow, Lazio played today. I mean, if you count the Torino win, there are six points. If you count the Lazio win, there's another. There are nine points. But just look at the results. Well, I mean, Frankfurt lost yesterday. Uh, Gladbach lost yesterday. Tottenham lost yesterday. Tottenham to West Ham. Uh, who else did lose? Uh, well, so, uh, yeah, this is not, but Bayern only managed a 1 1 at Nuremberg today, which is also all, all the big results. So Dortmund is still in contention, only two points behind. Um, Arsenal lost today, 3 0 to Leicester. Maybe Leicester has a chance to get something from Manchester City. I don't see it actually. Manchester City gets the narrow win at Burnley. I have not seen results. Uh, any highlights yet? I will probably, when I do my roundup video tomorrow, maybe I can talk more about that. United against Chelsea 1 1. Those are two points because those two are fighting for the Champions League. Actually, this draw is huge for Chelsea because now they look kind of. Uh, they have a cushion between themselves and Arsenal and United. Uh, Valencia loses at home to Eibar. And you are thinking, what is Valencia doing? Valencia and Arsenal playing each other. That's the horror duel in the Europa League. So you think that Sevilla and Getafe can take Valencia out of the competition? No. Girona, who has been losing at least five games, I think it was has, well, six in, in a row, beat Sevilla. Great. Getafe with a win. We can make it sure. No, you lose to Real Sociedad 2-1. It's incredible. Rayo just beat Real Madrid. Uesca via Real play out the 1-1 draw. I mean, we're going to see tomorrow. It's just absolutely nuts. Um, Italy, yeah, we talked or, or already about that. Um, Lazio won 2 1 at Sampdoria, Parma Kiva won 1, Napoli wins at Fro, Frozen on the Spal Genoa. Yeah, Spal Genoa won 1, uh, Kiva Parma won 1. Um, I also saw the Mif the, a little bit of the Braga Benfica match, which actually had me a little bit confused. Um, at first, I know the Porto won on Friday night. Had me confused because Braga was playing, of course, in red with white pants, but then I saw uh, they had the Arsenal look and I knew Benfica doesn't have our, our Arsenal look and I realized. It was 1 1. Uh, Benfica in the end won 4 1 um, quite easily. That was the other thing that I saw, although uh, Braga had a 1 0 lead at halftime. But two penalties turned around in the 59th and 65th. Okay. And now let's talk a little bit more curious things and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'll post this tomorrow in the morning. Um, first of all, uh, I, I said already Germany, um, with that horrible loss in Bayern only takes one point, it's only two, two points, so there's still something in there. But the most curious thing happened in the championship between Leeds United and Aston Villa. And if you haven't seen it, it's well worth watching. Uh, Willow player is lying around midfield. A lead player is shooting the ball towards the um, Villa goal, kind of wanting to pull it into our outline, but doesn't get it out. I mean, they're not capable in the championship. Anyway, lead, lead, lead player take it and puts it into the net, and you could see it, uh, um, that Villa was not really defending it well because they thought it's going to be played in the, into the other big melee insured uh, which lots of yellow and red cards and whatsoever and you could see Bielsa saying give them the goal give them the goal so right off the kickoff which happened about five minutes later Villa is led through it to score the goal to make it 1-1 because it's not fair of course one uh, defender did not get the memo and was fighting and then there was it was an absolute nuts everything there but kudos to Bielsa. I don't know. There was John Terry was not very happy uh, in the end. Uh, after that, he was yelling something at Bielsa. But <sighs> crazy stuff. Crazy stuff happening. Um, but yeah. 
One last thing to Leicester Arsenal. I mean, Leicester being beating 3 0, they have a good chance of becoming best of the rest. Which um, Watford, although they beat yesterday, I have to check this now again. I did this from memory. You never should do that. No, Wolves beat Watford. So Wolves is in contention for best of the rest. That is interesting because Leicester is also in contention for best of the rest. Uh, three points. Leicester needs the points against uh, City, but Wolves will need the points against Liverpool on the last day of. And yeah, we know already Brighton. So maybe, 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 maybe there is something there. I think City will do it. I uh, in Spain also. It's not that I need uh, with the win. Girona got out of the relegation zone. Absolutely not. I'm in a better mood now that I talked to you. So yeah, I'm still wearing Milan. You know, I wanna wear for once um, the jersey, although they lost. <sighs> Don't get angry again. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit catharsis for me. By the way, if you have, have, have haven't noticed. I'm trying to hang the jerseys here within the countries and um, in the way that the standings are, are on the table. You saw Milan was all the way to the left because they were ahead of Roma. Now Roma is ahead, ahead, ahead of Milan and my Inter jersey is hanging there. I cannot believe that I have an Inter jersey, but hey. All right, I'm going to work on some posts and maybe, you know, I want to get a little bit of national teams to distract myself from the misery of uh, Serie A at the moment. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Champions League though. I'm gonna give you some preview with predictions also for the Europa League. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.